Hi everyone, welcome to Daily News Analysis. Today is 28th June and let's have a look at some of the important news. Now, uh, the thing that has been covering most of the social media, most of the mainstream newspaper is apart from Adi Purush controversy, there is this Manipur violence that uh, is uh, very relevant to look at. So let's see what the High Court has to say regarding the Manipur Miti community's demand of ST status. So the High Court has admitted review plea by Miti body on ST status. So the Manipur High Court uh, has admitted a review petition uh, to, uh, to modify its contentious order which had directed the state government to recommend the inclusion of the Miti uh, on community on the scheduled uh, tribe. So the court uh, issued notice to the union and the state governments seeking their response by 5th July, that is the next date of hearing. Now uh, Manipur has been seeing continuous uh, ethnic violence between the dominant which is a valley based Miti community people and the hill based Kuki Zomi uh, tribal people since 3rd May. Uh, violence started shortly after a tribal protest against the contentious March 27 order. In the order, Justice Murli Dharan had directed the Manipur government to reply to the Union Tribal Affairs Ministry on a file related to the uh, this request for the Miti's inclusion on the scheduled tribe list. Now, the High Court had noted that the Miti people had submitted multiple requests for ST status to the government from 2013 uh, onwards and these were forwarded to the state government uh, seeking a formal recommendation as per the procedure. However, the Manipur government never acted on them. The High Court added directing uh, to, to the to the response to the union government. Um, more news from Manipur. Uh, uh, it is said that the BJP people and the government is saying that the president rules is the last option in Manipur. Uh, government will wait and watch uh, and eth as uh, ethnic violence and protest continues in Manipur for more than 45 days now. Multiple sources in the government and the BJP, they said that imposing president's rule is in the state was the last option and the idea was to exhaust other available options first. So several organizations have demanded the imposition of president's rule in the state owing to perceived uh, uh, and knowing uh, the uh, biases in the state administration and security forces. A Kerala district, uh, this Kunur district in Kerala, has moved the Supreme Court uh, to allow euthanasia for dangerous dogs. So, uh, the Kunur district panchayat in Kerala it moved the Supreme Court for permission to euthanize suspected rabid and extremely dangerous stray dogs in its limits. Uh, the petition said that, uh, that it, this demand triggered when a boy uh, was mauled, by, mauled to death. Uh, uh, by a pack of stray dogs in Kanur on 11th of June. So the petition uh, filed through the district panchayat, President P.P. Devya, represented by advocate Shubhash Chandran K.R. Uh, is the death of an 11 year old autistic child who was mauled by a pack of stray dogs. In the Bengal poll, Supreme Court will hear pleas on central forces deployment today. That is the Supreme Court agreed to urgently hear petitions filed by the West Bengal government and the state election commissions against a Calcutta High Court order of uh, June 15 to deploy central security forces within 48 hours ahead of the Panchayat elections. Talking about Uniform Civil Code, the Rajnath Singh, Uni uh, Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said that uh, it is a part of directive principles of state policy, Article 44 of the Constitution of India uh, talks about uh, uniform civil code. So why is there an objection? It is not that BJP came up with this. It is there in the Constitution uh, made by Bhimrao Bedkar, where Jawaharlal Nehru was also the part. So he said that he questioned the controversy being created over the uniform civil code, saying it was part of the directive principles of state policy laid down in the Constitution. Is Uniform Civil Code not in the Directive Principles of the Constitution of India? Why is then the controversy? The, that's what he said. If the government does something by deviating from the Constitution, going beyond its limits, then it should be considered wrong. 
but here it is not the bjp which had made the constitution it was baba saheb bhimrao ambedkar who made the constitution and jawaharlal nehru was also part of the team mr singh was speaking at an event in uttarakhand to mark the completion of 9 years of narendra modi government at the center uh, uh, rajnath singh also said that the law commission was collecting opinion about the uniform civil code from across the country uh so the, he also said that is there no uniform civil code in goa uh, why are there objections is there no uniform civil code in mp he added that all objections against the ucc was part of vote bank politics we have a new chief of raw replacing uh, samant goel uh, we have the senior ips officer ravi sinha who has been appointed as the next chief of raw So the appointments committee of the cabinet uh, appointed senior Indian IPS officer Ravi Sinha as secretary, uh, research and analyst wing, the country's uh, external intelligence agency. Mr. Sinha succeeds uh, Samant Kumar Goel, who will complete his four-year tenure on 30th June. As you know, that Geeta Press has been uh, give, uh, chosen for uh, Gandhi P uh, Gandhi Prize, uh, but they have. Uh, decided to take only the honor but not the uh, pecuniary not the monetary award so geeta press said that it was a matter of great honor to be conferred the gandhi peace prize but added that it would not accept the cash component uh, uh, of the award keeping with the tradition of not receiving any kind of donation they have this tradition of not receiving any donation from uh, anyone so the publisher thanked prime minister narendra modi and the union uh, this uh, culture ministry for conferring the prestigious award on it the recipients get 1 crore rupees a citation a plaque and a exquisite tradition at of a uh, handicraft or handloom item they said that it is a matter of great honor for uh, us it is our principle not to accept any kind of donation so the trustee board has decided not to take the award in any monetary form however we will certainly accept the award for the honor of it uh, geeta press manager uh, is uh, this uh, lal mani tripathi uh, said this uh, geeta press was established in 1923 and it is one of the largest world's largest publishers of hindu religious text uh, and the sad news coming there is socialist uh, author imtiaz ahmed passed away at 83 he was a former professor of jawaharlal nehru university he had been under treatment at the all india institute of medical sciences here professor ahmed is known for the works on caste in islam he worked uh, uh, with a keen interest in social anthropology and taught sociology political science and islamic studies in various universities in india and abroad Punjab government decided to allow free to air telecast of Gurbani and that has uh, angered some of the people belonging to Sikh community so the Punjab cabinet has uh, gave it assent to a move that is seek, uh, seeking to amend the Sikh Gurdwara Act 1925 and decided to insert a section 125a uh, in the act for the free to air telecast of Gurbani which is the sacred hymn uh, from the golden temple uh, this uh, uh, harmandir sahib in amritsar now the government uh, decision invited sharp criticism from the shiromani uh, gurudwara prabandhak Com committee uh, the body that uh, is responsible for the management of the gurudwara uh, punjab chief minister bhagwant man said that the sikh gurudwara amendment act 2023 will pave the way for eliminating the undue control over the free to air telecast of the sacred gurbani now uh, ladakh leaders uh, meet a union minister and demand statehood as you know that ever since there has been uh, this uh, abrogation of article 370 uh, the ladakh as a union territory uh, has been demanding the uh, full statehood so minister of state for home niyanand rai nityanand rai uh, met a delegation from ladakh the delegation comprising leaders from kargil and leh they reiterated the demand for statehood and constitutional safeguards for the union territories the meeting comes amid persistent demands and protest in the union territory for inclusion under the 6th schedule of the constitution that provides protection to 
tribal areas. Government will sell 92 lakh shares in Coal India to its employees. So government will sell up to 92.44 lakh shares which amounts to 0.15% stake in Coal India to its employees at a price of 226.10 rupees per share. The employee OFC offer for sale shall remain open from 21st June to 23rd June, uh, Coal India said in a stock exchange filing. And also Indigo has announced a record order for 500 Airbus A320 family jet. So this is this airline's latest order takes the total number of planes it has uh, an order to 980 as the carrier aims to double its fleet size by the end of current decade. Uh, Tata backed up stocks uh, plans to float an AMC. What is AMC? Asset Management Company. So Ratan Tata and Tiger Global backed up stocks uh, plans to float an AMC. Uh, this fiscal and unveil new products to become a one-stop solution for investors and uh, co-founders, uh, said the uh, said the co said the co-founder uh, Srini Vishwanath. There has been 3.5 billion dollars of investment in the country uh, by private equity and venture capital funds in India. So investment in the country continued to fall in May uh, with overall values declining by nearly 44%. Real estate was the favorite sector for funds in May. India has gifted INS Kirpan to Vietnam, uh, focuses on enhancing defense relations. So India gifted the indigenously built uh, INS uh, Kirpan to Vietnam to in, uh, enhance its naval capabilities. Uh, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh announced this on Monday after bilateral talks with his visiting Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese counterpart General Phan Von Gang. Uh, Modi by then uh, to discuss every issue relevant to India US. So here the Foreign Secretary says that the India and US are focused on how defense industrial companies can form a supply line ecosystem. The PM will also interact with the Indian diaspora in two phases during this meet. United Nations has adopted first ever agreement to protect marine life in the high seas. Now the members of the United Nations adopted the first ever treaty to protect marine life in the high seas with the UN's chief hailing this historical agreement as giving the ocean a fighting chance. The treaty had been under discussion for more than 20 years as efforts to reach an agreement had repeatedly stalled. Uh, the Europe is hotter by 2.3 degrees Celsius. Uh, so uh, this is the, the degree by which Europe was hotter than 1850 to 1900 levels. And Europe is world's fastest warming uh, continent. Uh, the world's fastest warming com continent which has been heating up twice the global average since the 1980s experienced its warmest summer on record last year. Uh, in sports, we have uh, uh, this uh, Verstappen. Uh, he achieves a milestone victory. He won the Canadian Grand Prix from pole position uh, to stretch his Formula One championship lead and take Red Bull's milestone 100th victory. Also, uh, Tajinder Pathur, he rewrites his own Asian record, uh, books a birth for the world. So, short, he's a short putter, uh, Tajinder Pal Singh. He overcame a personal loss to smash his own Asian record with an effort of 21.77 mm and qualify for the world championship on the final day of the 62nd National Interstate Athletic Meet at the uh, this uh, stadium, at the uh, Kalinga Stadium. Uh, Spain shoots out Croatia in tenth final. Uh, this is about the uh, national league title uh, where uh, this uh, Dani Kevinchil shipped home a, a, a Paringa penalty to win Spain the national league's title with a 5-4 shootout victory over Croatia after a tense match finishing 0-0 following extra time. Uh, Odisha chief minister has announced one crore reward for the football team, India, Indian uh, men's football team. And also it will donate 20 lakh rupees uh, to the people uh, for the relief and rehabilitation of the families affected by the recent train accident in Odisha. That's all for right now. Thank you so much. See you in the next session with more set of news. Till then, have a good day. Goodbye.